This is your weekly dose of Bitcoin! You, when you hopped into this uh, recording room, UST price was at 98 cents being defended. Uh, do you know what it is right now? No. It's at 92 cents. Oh shit! Oh shit! Emotional damage! Yeah. Uh, so that's a billion dollars of stablecoin market cap that's gotten erased in the last uh, 30 minutes. It's a very complicated ecosystem. There's <laughs> 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 a pressure I, I'd like to sell you, you know. Look. We don't want to downplay the severity of what's happened lately in the crypto world. Not everyone can take an L like KSI. <laughs> Not to smile or react. It's important to remember that there are forces out there trying to part you from your Bitcoin. Forces that want you to give up your hard-earned Bitcoin for the latest innovative tech. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't trust. Always verify. So UK inflation just hit 9%, making it a 40-year high. Uh, but I'm sure it's all good. The, the central bank must have it under control, right? The governor of the Bank of England has warned of apocalyptic global food price rises and said he is helpless in the face of surging inflation as the economy is battered by the war in Ukraine. Helpless. Helpless. The Americans will save us though, right? And a little bit of chicken fry. Cold beer on a Friday night. A pair of jeans that fit just right. <laughs> Russia. Remember that one time China banned Bitcoin mining? Well, yeah, it's going pretty well. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> the CCAF's recent data report, that's the Cambridge Center for Alternative Finance, shows that China is currently second to the US in Bitcoin's global hash rate with 21.11%. It is worth bearing in mind that these guys also said there was 0% hash rate in China when the ban happened and probably not accurate <laughs> looking at this data um so it's not like a hundred percent accurate but you know you get the idea bitcoin is still out there and people are still mining regardless of the ban didn't we do this yesterday i don't know what you mean no. ah! don't mess with me pork chop <sighs> what day is this groundhog day <laughs> so El Salvador back in the Bitcoin news again this week after they hosted central bankers and financial authorities from 44 countries for a financial inclusion event this week. I know none of us are a massive fan of uh, central bankers and the financial authorities, but yeah, it's pretty cool to see them going out of their way to try and bring awareness to Bitcoin. And I'm sure uh, the powers that be aren't <laughs> uh, are looking down on this. Maybe they're a bit afraid, the IMF. That's all for this week, folks. If you want to stay up to date with the latest in Bitcoin, the content, memes, news, all that good stuff, sign up for our daily GM Bitcoin newsletter. You can do so through Twitter or I'll put a link in the description and you can get yeah, Bitcoin news and content to your inbox every weekday. Enjoy. <laughs> Because I've been easier. <laughs>